Hi and welcome. In this episode, we'll finish with login logout functionality on client. Now we have information about current user in store and we can use it to display proper links and navigation bar. So let's open our navigation bar here. And right now it's a functional component, but we're going to connect it to Redux store so it has access to current user information. So first let's convert it to class component. Like this. So let's save it and let's check it out in the browser so I haven't broke anything. Okay, and it's good. So now let's connect it to Redux. So for that, as usual, we input connect from Redux. And then here at the bottom, we connect it like this. So now we need to specify map state to props function because we need to get a slice of Redux store. So let's define this function map state to props. This function takes state and we return new object and fields of this object is the props of this component. And we're going to have the full auth piece of state like this. So now we expect this auth to be on the component. So let's add navigation bar prop types and auth should be a prop types object and it is required. So now we have access to is authenticated property. So let's use it. So right here, in render, let's get is authenticated from this props auth. Next, let's extract link. So we're gonna have two constants here. The first constant, uh, we're gonna call it user links. These are links for authenticated user. And the next one is going to be guest links. And you guessed it, we're going to render them conditionally. So for user links, we'll get this an audit list from here. Let's paste it right here. Oh, but yeah, this these are guest links. We want user to be able to log in or sign up. And then for the user links, we'll have as well an audit list, but for now, just with one link, and that's gonna be logout. So let's delete this link from here. We'll add a href empty one, and that's gonna be a logout like this. So now let's render them conditionally. Right here we have is authenticated, so we'll use is authenticated, then we have user links, otherwise we have guest links. Let's save it and let's have a look in the browser. Let's reload the page. Redux connect is not a function, of course, because we need to have react Redux here. Let's try it again. And now you can see just the logout link. And if we go back here in applications and we're going to delete this JOT token from here and reload the page, then we'll have our sign up and login. Excellent, it works. So our navigation bar knows about current user information. That's exactly what we want. So now we want to have this logout link functioning. So let's do this. So when user logs out, we just need to delete token from local storage and dispatch set current user action with empty object. Easy peasy, let's do this. So we're going back to our logout link here. And inside of here, we're gonna define on click event, this logout. So now we need to define constructor to bind this function, but let's do it right here, bind this. So we do not need to define constructor and bind function to this context this way. Next, let's define logout. And inside of this logout, of course, we prevent default. And then we just call props logout action. So now we expect in this component to have logout action. So let's define it at prop types. So we have logout to be prop types function and it is required. And of course we need to add it here as a map dispatch to props shortcut logout. And we get it from logout from actions auth actions. Let's save it. Now, of course, we need to define this logout action in auth actions. So let's go to auth actions. And inside of here, let's define logout. So we have export function logout. It is, of course, the thunk action. So we have dispatch. And then we're doing three things. We remove from local storage 
we remove item jaw token. Then we set authorization token and we pass false. So this way we're going to delete authorization header from future requests. And after that, we dispatch set current user action with empty object. And this way we'll have is authenticated set to false and user set to empty object. Let's save it and let's have a look in the browser. So now if we try to log out, bam, we've logged out and we do not have any job token here. If we log in, we're back in business. Nice. How cool is that? So let's commit. Login and log out on client. So the last thing that we need to implement is the middleware on our server. So we verify token and verify user identity with each request that we do. And that's what we're going to do next. Thanks for your time and if you found this episode useful, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter to get updates. Thanks for watching.